when you're reaching season of conquest you're noticing this gigantic list of legendary commanders and you're wondering like which one you should invest on because you're looking at each and every one of them and you're noticing that all of them they are so juicy and they look so good you feel like you don't have enough sculptures you feel like your account is a little bit left behind well i want to help you out in this video and i want to give you the top three priorities for season of conquest so you can get really good results on the field fighting so you really don't feel left out and you'll be able to compete with some of the top players in the game hello everyone i'm legend ronnie and today i want to give you the top three commanders for kvk 1 2 and 3 which everybody knows there has been done so many videos about those three commanders but just in case i want to do a refresh of my like which are the best three that you should invest on through your time in kvk 1 kvk 2 and kvk 3 and the top three priorities in season of conquest now i have done this kind of video way in the back so this is an updated version for those videos now obviously for kvk1 is ysg that is the best investment that you can do in kvk1 a little bit of small investments because this is one of the most common used commanders particularly for kvk1 2 and 3 is richard my recommendation is to not go so heavy on investing in richard a 5 1 1 1 for bar farming and a little bit of field fighting or a 5 5 1 1 for field fighting but my recommendation is to max skill YSG and just a little bit of investment in Richard if you really feel like Richard is something that you really need my opinion is that you could get a way around without Richard it all depends how much fighting you have in KVK1 2 and KVK3 and that will tell you more if you should invest in Richard now once you reach KVK2 there is two commanders that will become available and the first one is going to be Saladin and after that is going to be Alexander. Saladin is highly recommended because as a 5551 he is a solid commander to keep him like that so you don't really have to put any more sculptures in him you do him 5551 and then he is a super solid commander even for season of conquest I've done a top 10 legendary and you can check that video and you will see that these commanders that I'm mentioning now they are also in that list and after saladin you have alexander which is recommended to be max skill but obviously small investments work in alexander as well like a 5511 or a 5551 and in the end expertise these commanders are also really good in season of conquest ysg in particular also has a museum buff in season of conquest he gets another 10 percent defense and three percent skill damage and for a small investment on ysg Obviously, it's a 5511 or a 5515, but everybody enjoys the circular era. This commander is a must expertise commander. I wouldn't go with a small investment on him. Expertise, it is the way to go. Now, after all this is done, KVK 1, 2, and 3, you're reaching Season of Conquest. You have a pocket full of gold heads, and you're wondering, like, oh my god, there is 30 new legendary. Which one should I uh, max? On my top 10 legendary list, there is two of them. And it will make more sense the more I'm going to talk about and the more I'm going to explain about it in this video. The first commander that is made the top one was Scipio. And now that he is even used in Season of Conquest as a garrison, second to Flavius, it has <laughs> rise up more than one. It has one and stars. <laughs> That's how useful uh, CPU Africanus it is right now. Obviously the legendary one, which you will get it on the infantry MG when the wheel comes around on the second day. So CPU Africanus is the number one that I will highly recommend in Season of Conquest, same as the video with the top 10 legendary. But the reason being, because a lot of people have asked me, should I invest on... Guan Yu or Scipio, people that have a rich season of conquest and obviously my recommendation is go for Scipio. From all the legendaries that you will have available in season of conquest, Scipio Africanus is the one to go, the number one. And that you will pair him with your Alexander. 
Now my recommendation is to put Scipio first and Alexander as a second in command. But if you want to put Alexander first until you get your Scipio to level 60, that's also quite alright to use. Now the second commander that I recommend for Season of Conquest that you should invest on is Nevsky. As a 5551, Nevsky is good to go. Or you could just max the first one and go randomly because all his skills are amazing. And same is with Scipio. 5551 is good to go, but my recommendation is expertise. All the commanders that have versatility is recommended to be expertise because they are just amazing. When a commander has versatility, it means that while you're on the map, all the skills work. On the field fighting, on the map, all of them, they work. A conquering commander always has a skill that can only work in conquering. So for example, Charmaine. So it needs to be in a rally. So this skill can only be used as a rally. And the garrison commanders, they always have like a skill or some of them even two that only works in garrison. Troops led by this commander, when battling within your alliance territory or while serving as a garrison commander or stronghold, while this commander is leading the garrison of your own city or stronghold. So there you have it. The versatility that are the most common and the most beautiful commanders in the game for field fighting. That's why they also work as a small investment, but the recommendation is to max skill. And that's why they are so useful and that's why everybody is recommending them so much. They give you the best results for field fighting because everybody wants to get kills. I mean, that's the reality. You don't want to go with a commander that you're going to say, well, okay, at least I'm useful for my team. You know, it, it doesn't really go like that. You want kills as well, right? Because you're looking at your stats and you, have, you see 300 million kill points and you go and look at someone else and you see 2 billion kill points and you go like, well, oh my God, when I'm going to reach 2 billion or even a billion kill points, you need the commanders. You need resources, speed ups, and you need the commanders. Resources and speed ups should be very easy to acquire now with the, all events that are in the game. But after that, you need the commanders and you need to invest on the right commanders. So this is why these videos are made for to give you a priority. If you're wondering who you should pair your Nevsky with, you can pair him with your Saladin. So you make uh, a lot of utilities for those commanders that you're working on uh, KVK 1, 2 and 3. You don't want to make those commanders to be obsolete because you can't afford that, especially when you reach Season of Conquest. So you can either go Saladin first, Nevsky second, or you go Nevsky first, Saladin second. That also works really good. Or as another option, if you want to go further and do like two Cav Marchers in the future, is William. You could either put William second to your Saladin with a small investment, five something, 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 even 5111. I talked in detail on... Uh, a video with small investments i'll make sure to post card on the top with that one as well or you put more skills on william it doesn't matter as long as you max the primary skill of william and then however you want to leave the third the three next skills he has that's entirely up to you he's a really amazing commander so you could go with a sardine and william that you could go with a nevsky and mehmed mehmed is a commander that everybody gets from the gold keys 5515 is good to go, 5511 is good to go. You don't need to invest universals in Mehmed. So you have two solid calf commanders and marches that will definitely give you a lot of results on the field. Plus Mehmed has a museum with more herald and skill damage. So Mehmed is really great to use now in Season of Conquest as well. The purpose of the video is for the top three. So the second one is Nevsky. I just want to sidetrack a little bit in case you want to do more calf marches. Now going on the third one, we don't have it yet on the list, but has been officially released and it is called Bodica. If you want to know even more about Bodica, I made a dedicated video for Bodica and Henry, the two new archer commanders that have been officially uh, released on the Rise of Kingdom forum. No more words needed saying, Boudicca is definitely making the top three now that we have seen her skill and her amazing skill for that matter. So just her primary 2300 
damage frag because that's pretty huge so imagine when you empower that with a 50 percent skill damage from ysg that's definitely going to be some amazing numbers and then skill damage they can increase by the target by another 35 percent so you even your ysg on that particular target is going to hit even harder Boutica and ysg is going to be your third march now my recommendation is a 5551 for Boudica and obviously expertise in the end. She is versatility, skill and archer. Is Boudica going to have a lot more other pairings? I mean, obviously, <laughs> it's exactly when Ramses came out and everybody was saying, do that with Ramses, do that with Ramses, do this with Ramses. Like every archer pair with Ramses was an amazing pair, but nobody was noticing that it was Ramses, the one that was making every other pair so amazing so this is the same thing uh, with Boudica it will definitely work with other commander as well but the purpose of this video is to make utility out of those um, commanders that you're upgrading in kvk 1 2 and 3 now as a little bit of a sidetrack before these commanders were released the recommendation before were William or Guan Yu and for archers were either Nebu or Artemisia. But now, when you have all these new and beautiful commanders into the game that provide so many bonuses on the field and do so much damage, it just makes no sense to start working on some of the older commanders. Always, if the new commanders are so good and they are so beasty, always work on the new commanders. I'm not sure if this just happened, but usually they don't introduce so many versatility in a row. Because we had the Cavs, they introduced Nevsky as versatility, then we had Infantry, they introduced CPO as versatility, and now they introduced Boudica as well as versatility. So this comes a little bit of a shock to me, like so many versatilities in a row, because these are really great commanders to have for field fighting. If you get these three pairs done, in my opinion, I would say that you will be super solid for Season of Conquest. You'll have three commanders that you already invested on and you will rejuvenate them or you will revive them in Season of Conquest with another three super good commanders. And you'll have three amazing marches so you can have a start in your Season of Conquest. Now, further than this, if you want to go more cabs, if you want to go more archers, if you want to go more infantry, there's definitely uh, videos that can help you out. But at least you will have a start in your season of conquest and you'll start pounding marches and get results. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out here and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.